The objective of this lesson is to apply understanding of distribution to construct an argument with supporting evidence. Students may struggle in this task to assemble an argument based on statistical evidence. One of the most difficult things in statistics is that there is rarely one definite answer. Instead of taking the time to generate different graphs on our own, students can generate the graphs online so the focus can be on creating the arguments. Let's begin with the task. This data reflects opening weekend earnings for major motion pictures with specified ratings. Students will need to use their knowledge of statistics and data distribution to determine if G and PG movies had a more or less successful opening than PG-13 movies in their 2015 opening weekend, and develop statistical argument for their conclusion. Students may begin the task by creating a dot plot or box plot in order to see the shape and distribution through a picture. For this set of data, the box plot would work the best. There are three different ways to look at the distribution of the data in order to determine the answer, the center, spread, and shape. Let's begin by finding the center of the data. Students could calculate the center using the median, which is the middle value, or the mean, which is the average. They would first put the incomes in order from least to greatest and place it in a box plot or find the five number summary. The median value for G and PG is $48.5 million. The median value for PG-13 is $63 million. It can be said that the PG-13 movies had a greater center, so therefore PG-13 movies had more success with the opening weekends. Next, let's examine the distribution using the spread. The spread can be determined by finding the range. The range for G and PG is 115 and 7 tenths subtract 23 and 6 tenths, or about 92 million. And for PG-13, it is 248 subtract 38 and 7 tenths, or about 209 million. The interquartile range for G and PG is about 35 million, and for PG-13 is about 104 million. The overall picture of both sets of data show that the G and PG movies have more consistency in their opening weekends. Even though the PG-13 movies had a larger mean and median, the variability was greater and the data was more inconsistent. This tells us that the mean and median are not the best measures to determine success. So the question is, does the consistent set of data show more success, or does the higher and spread out data show success? You decide. The objective for this lesson was to apply understanding of distribution to construct an argument with supporting evidence. We met this objective by finding the center, spread, and shape of data from opening weekends for G and PG movies versus PG-13 movies by finding the five-point summary and creating a box plot for both.